Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hello, my name is Izzy Pop. I've recently made a new change to Izzy Scott Designs. Reason is simple. I like to make designs that mirror the part of you that makes your brand channel what it is. Now, I'm going to show you how I work, what I do, some of the things that I have accomplished. Canva loaded. Canva. I use Canva. I use NFX Music. I use some of um, music from, you know, different genres, not just um, hip-hop or anything like that. NFX has, a, you know, a lot of... Um, Music, so the audio library that YouTube provides also has an abundance of music. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how I believe this is a, a video I'll make. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first the things that I've already made. And then I'll show you how I made those things. And I'm going to show you how I put all of it together. This is sort of a tutorial, but it's more what I'm trying to accomplish with this channel. So, now, what I have loaded is an untitled design video. The first thing I want to do is up here, I want to label what this video is going to be because if you don't you're going to end with a lot of untitled stuff I have a lot of that <laughs> untitled one untitled two and you, you just can't figure out what you got yet so i'm going to type in um izzy and then designs and what i'm going to do is our background was um, gift with the name change from Scully's House of Thor Thrillers. Now, um, there's also going to be a change with him. There's going to be an unveiling. I'm not sure when, but that's just keep your, keep your ears open until you find out something. Until you hear something. So when I click on... Um, just hit that side. It changes it up here at the top. Ab, which design you're doing. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you, first of all, some of the pictures that I've made. And what I'll go to is uploads. Now, some of these things I did recently, like the poor little kitty out in the storm with the microphone doing the weather report. What I do is say, I've already did this one, and I want to make a video that's going to, that I can put up in StreamYard as a backdrop. So while I'm showing you this, I will make a couple of pictures to this portfolio. And forgive me for saying portfolio. <laughs> I, it's just this word. Put it in a folder. How about that? I'm going to set images background. Now see the um we'll use cam canva and put in the code of what I need to do. You can see here that the umbrella is actually going through the cat's face. Now I have a selection to pick from over here on the left of which ones I want. So what I think I'll do is I'll de I'll delete this one. And I'll put in maybe this one. Well, that's that microphone looks pretty, pretty horrible. <laughs> um, this one, not bad. I think I'll do this one. So we got this one, which is a cat in the rain with an umbrella, and it's one I made. Now we're going to go to 
the next section. And what you do is you add page. You just click on it like that. And so what I want to do is I want to add another picture. And like I said, all these pictures over here on the left are the ones I did. So I'm going to put this one. And I'll click on it, click, and I'll set images background. And I'll click on another window. Oh, well, it's the one in, with the little kitten in a sandbox. There's another one, set images background. A lot of these, I'm going to keep them the same because I really like how they came out, how they you know represent a good ratio with the body parts they should say with you know that their eyeballs are not in a different place it's crazy how, how they some of this stuff now okay when i made this figure if you notice kind of that's because when i made this figure I made it as a photo a portrait instead of a landscape and i will show you that while we're here so this picture i'm going to go to up here at the top, resize, and magic switch. So when I go up here to resize, I want to make it. Um, a thumbnail. let's make it a let's give it some length. And that's what we want is what, we want the length on it. So we're gonna see. Okay, there you go. Copy and resize. I don't want to copy it because then it's gonna. That's not this one. That's not the same one. I don't understand. Why me that? Lord have mercy. I clicked on that one. Now let's see. Edit photo. Let's see. Do 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 do. do. And this is the thing about the about Canva. When you go to edit photo, you can r remove the background. Watch how that background disappears. Some of it does. And what doesn't disappear, you can take out an eraser. Now, you see how that background disappeared? Now, because I, dis I made the background disappear on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to Elements over here on the and create a different background. And what I'm going to do is go right here to create your own. So what I'm going to type in, first I'm going to, I go with Dreamy, that's my brand, I also go with the landscape, that makes the picture long, you can see the different sides, the square, long, um, rectangle, uh, sideways, and then you got the portrait size, and that's it. I usually use the landscape, unless I'm just using certain things like a picture just I don't want background I just want a picture then I use the square or the portrait now I've got dreamy I've got square and right here I under I pay for this um, I'm good until May 31st well that's when it refreshes um, I actually today is May 10th tomorrow is when that runs out so I I did want to get this before I lost you. So back to um I've got the kitty cat picture up here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put background in. Now I'm gonna show you how that's done. Now they've added a lot of new things to Canva. One images, graphics and videos. Um it used to be just images and videos. Now it's graphics also. So this is, I'll show you. So what I want to do is I want to type in um, background scene um, of a night sky with stars and a moon. Now, then I want to go to I want to say use the golden ratio. Now, what the golden ratio is, it's the it's telling the system to create it to create this this idea using specifics. 
uh, like um, anatomically correct or um, if if a person has five fingers make them have five fingers not six fingers and a toe on a hand because it really does look kind of creepy like that so that's that's why you would want to use that phrase to go use the golden ratio now also it says use the colors so i'm going with the background so i'm going to go with use the colors i'm going to go with dark blue silver uh white and let's throw teal in there I like teal and let's pink. I'd say peach. I should say peach because now let's say pink. Now I've got background scene of a night sky with stars and a moon. The golden ratio. Use the color dark blue, silver, white, and teal and pink. I said and teal and pink. So we're gonna we're gonna back this up. And put a comma. All right. Also, the thing I wanted to do is, if you think about a, a, a sky and we got the moon, what color will the moon be? I did like it. Maybe silver? Because that's a lighter color. I've got white in here also. So let's just see. I was thinking maybe the stars would be silver. So when I say generate image, so this is putting... It says, it's hard work transforming those images from your head. Wait with us while we generate. So they're taking what I said. Look. Look at those pictures. Look at that. Now, because I have um, made that background of the kitty cat over here, this, because I have made it, um, I've, Put that background. I'm going to go here and I'm with one of these photos. Now, I'm ch you, you got to really decide. So, what a, this is, uh, I guess, a road or a valley, maybe. So, we got the moon up there. I don't know how much of it you can see. Got the moon, and right here we got, uh, and it says lake. So, I don't think the cat would be sitting on the lake. You know, out there in the lake on what it's on. <laughs> so, well, let's try the clouds. And then we got this one right here that has the division of clouds. You know, the little V-shaped areas. But the moon is bigger. Over here, we've got a smaller moon in the distance. And I want to tell you all something. You have to know about depth perception when you're doing any kind of work. Uh, canvas work, any kind of artwork, because what I want to do is because the cat is big. I want to put this one on that it has a small moon. The reason I say that is because the background of the depths that we need. So what we're going to do is set image as background. You have a lot of choices here. That image's background is the, or you could stretch it out, but that image's background will keep it um, uniform. Now it looks like it looks like the cat is on um, a magic carpet. Okay, doesn't. So what we're going to do is play with this a little bit. So if I did this, it puts the cat all the way at the bottom, and you really don't see what the kitten is doing. So Let's play with this. I'm going to take this picture, edit photo, and let's see. Let's magic eraser. And let's some of that blue on either side of that. See this right here? So what it is is a brush size, and it says brush over the image. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to take this brush over here on the far right. And I'm going to, well, it's it's kind of hard to do it on a computer because you, um, you really don't have as much control with the brush as you would say, um, with a you know like a, 
phone, I guess. I don't know. I, I just use this laptop. So I want to go over here and take us out. I don't want to remove a whole lot of that uh, platform the kitten's on. So what I'm going to do is take this out. Ooh, took out too much. And the thing about that is that I took out too much. And yeah, it chopped it up some. But. Let me see what I can do with that. So let's go all the way around to make this. Kind of, it's kind. Of, it's really hard. I, I don't have the steady hand that you would say have with a mouse. I have a trackball, so it's hard to do it with a thumb. You know, see the how raggedy it looks. So let me see what I can do. Try to straighten it up a little bit. And every time you make a um you know, get rid of, you You really want to go in, I, I can make the brush even smaller. And the best thing about this, anytime you do something and you're not satisfied with it, there's a back button. Always go backwards. And you can correct it, redo it, you know, whatever you need to do. So here we go. Let's remove this. Now the next ones I won't make so difficult. I'm just showing y'all how um, how I layer my own images. And let's uh, no steady hand here. Look, Ma, no steady hand. Okay, thank God I'm not a surgeon, huh? Okay. So as soon as that erases, oh, it's still shabby. Let me see something. One of these days, one of these days, I'll be, look, I don't have Parkinson's or any kind of nerve ticks. This is, this is what happens when you use a trackball. You really don't have a, a lot of thumb um, control when you're using a mouse for that. So let me go up here. And uh, anyway. So next, I'm going to just leave it alone, because if I keep messing with it, the cat won't be sitting on anything. Well, that did look pretty good. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. So you hit this back button. See what it did? It took out all that other stuff. Now, it looks like he's on a flying disc, which, you know, he really is. So that's not too bad. So I'm going to leave that like that. And it looks like he's, I wish it was a flying carpet. <laughs> um, but I'm going to leave that like that. Now, I have all these up here. And that has two moons in it. I really don't want to use that one. Um, I want to kind of make it realistic without being realistic. You know, you we're not, we're not on Jupiter or anything. It's got a bunch of moons or Saturn. We're just... <laughs> The cat's on Earth. It's the cat's in the clouds. All right, so we did that one. So let's go back to uploads, and I'll pick out some more pictures I've I've done. So I want to go over here, and this is the one that I thought was so cute when I when it came out, and I used it as one of my thumbnails. I don't think I've ever had a picture that looked so. Um, I don't know how to describe it. The face, it, it just looked cute <laughs> in an ugly way, but it was cute. Now, this little guy right here in the praying hands, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with his video. So, it's a still one, but I think it's, yeah, it's too big for the picture too. So, let's do this. That dude was on the um on a cloud too. No, he's got a he's like the other one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do maybe the same thing, but first what I'm gonna do is change. Uh maybe not. Let me think. Okay. So we know we had the other background and what and they're still there. So while they're still there, I'm gonna go back and pick up one of those backgrounds. 
that I did just now. It's still in the in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one. And all I'm going to do is put it behind the picture that we have up right now. So let's put that back there so we have something to go by. Now what I used to do is I used to fade these in. Or fade them so it look. But now I've learned how to actually do it. <laughs> so this one you see it's. You can see everything behind it. And what I want to do with this one is, well, I can't do it. i got to make it do it. So what I'm going to do is this. Maybe I can, okay, I want to show you how to do the video first. Well, let's, which one is the big moon? Okay, let me make a video out of generate video. So this is going to make a video or make a movement of the clouds in the background. And then we'll work with the kitty cat. What you have to, you have to wait. It takes one to two minutes, but it's like it's it's a long one to two minutes. <laughs> I don't care how you look at it. It's a long one to two minutes. I hope that this is still recording because I'm on the main screen. And like I said, I hope y'all can see all this. And I'm still waiting and waiting and waiting. It's not a long transition or a long wait or a long, um, it's, it just feels that way because you really can't do anything else until that, until it's finished. If you try to go off, it stops the, whatever it's doing and it, you have to pick it back up anyway. So just sing a Smurf song or something while you're waiting. I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious to see how they did the, um, I'm moving this over so we can see. Come on, come on, grab your popcorn, it says. And this is powered by Runway. I use Canva, Magic Media, and Runway. All three programs cost. They're not free, just like the internet's not free. Unless I go to McDonald's. Okay, let's see how much movement it's given us. Not really a whole lot. For the clouds back there, it's not really a whole lot of movement. You have to wait. See over here on the left, you have to wait till it loads also, because otherwise you get a you get a picture that doesn't work. Okay, this one has motion, so watch. It has some motion, but it's very telltale. I'm going to go ahead and leave it, but I'm going to replace what's already there. So I go down here and says replace background. So now I have. A moving video right there. Now the cat's too big for this one. So we're going to put the cat right here. But what we're going to do is once again edit photo. And we're going to remove background. See what it takes out of the background this time. I know the picture is small but it'll get larger in a minute. This is awesome. Look what it did. So what I can do is I can take that picture right there. I could go back over here to Elements and go back over here to Generate Your Own and to Images. And because I've already put my colors and stuff in there, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to backspace it, that out, take it out, and I'm going to put in Magic carpet flying oh maybe I should do flying magic carpet um, or magic yeah magic flying carpet magic carpet flying okay now magic carpet flying and then I go to uh, use the colors dark blue okay so Let's look at my colors here. So what I want to do is maybe take out the silver, take out the white, and we're going to get some more colors in there. We don't want a whole lot of blues and stuff because we got the we got the sky as dark blue. So we're going to leave teal in there. We're going to leave pink. There, there are a lot of there, those colors I like to work with a lot. 
they have a lot of things you can blend with them. So we've got teal. Let's okay, teal, pink. Um, what else? And if you use the color orange, you're going to get oranges. If you use the color rose, you're going to get roses. I'm just telling y'all that because it's trial and error. <laughs> you have to you have to really you really have to think about what you're coding into this. And that's what you're doing. You're writing codes. And these codes are the words that you're putting into this box so they can generate the images that you want. So magic carpet flying, use the golden ratio. Use the colors teal, pink. Uh let's say red uh green and let's throw in purple i always like putting purple in a lot of people like the color purple so i didn't put green purple i see green and purple all right now i'm going to hit generate and what it's going to give me is a still photo now i could copy and paste all of this and put it into the videos part just to make the video and not even worry about the magic carpet. So what I think I'll do is just that. So I'll do copy. And then what I want to do is instead of videos, what I want to is okay, click on videos and it will give you the it will make a video of that. Okay, I want to go all the way. So back to the beginning, copied and paid all that because I didn't want to type it anymore. So I already have it on video. So let's go generate video. Down here, I have one of 44 credits left. And like I said, I'm not going to have this anyway. <laughs> so it, it doesn't matter how many credits I have. It runs out when it runs out. And I will, the basic plan, you don't have all these um, bells and whistles. And it, that's the sad part about it. So we're going to get that magic carpet. And what we got is we put movement to it. So let's see what the movement, let's look at the magic carpet and see what kind of move it puts to that. Now, the thing about the videos you don't have any to choose from like you would. You don't have four that you can choose to make a video of. If I don't like this one, I'm going to go back and show y'all um, four different pictures that, and then put that the one I like to, to movement, to video. This is usually a four-second clip. And if you put it in um, a five-second frame, it's going to give you about 4.5 seconds. Hang on, please. I've got to fix that. Hold on just a second. Now, what I did was I moved the actual picture that you're seeing so you could see it better. So what I've got is I've got the kitten, and this didn't turn out like I want it to. It's not a whole lot of movement to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this before it loads. It already loaded. Okay, well, let's go back to images, and let's go all the way back. Go back. Hit Dreamy. Then I, what I want to do is make it small. I really don't want anything like a... Um, Let's do square. I don't want it huge to take up a lot of um, room in megabytes. So it's it's hard to upload anything like that. Okay, so I've got it as a square. I have it dreamy. And because I copied and pasted everything, uh, uh, magic carpet flying, use the golden ratio, use the colors teal, pink, red, green, and purple. So what I'm going to do is hit generate image this time it will give me still pictures so i'm going to get the still pictures right here 
in a second. I'll be getting the still, still shots. And we still have our little kitten here. Look how quick that was. And they already put somebody on them. So we've got one here that doesn't have anything on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this picture. And we could actually use this as a background, which we may do. What I'm going to do is see, I can put this on, on there. And let me show you something. I'm going to take this and I'm going to click these dots here. And it says generate video. So what I'm going to do is hit generate video. And it will give motion to the magic carpet. Hopefully not just the clouds around it but also the magic carpet. So what we're going to do is see how this looks. We may use this for the background and if we do we'll cancel out the other one. Let's see how it works. And I'll go back and put movement on these pictures through here. But what I'm doing is I'm making kind of like a portfolio of the things I've done recently as far as putting together the pictures, um, putting together these. Also, I wanted to let y'all know that I'm, I don't know what my prices are. I'm doing it by playing by ear, just basically what you need and how long it takes me to make it. Um, I'm letting y'all know that up front. Um, I did some logo work for Nicolina. I did videos for Lawless World TV. I did an intro for him. I've done plenty of work for Scully's House of Thrillers. And it's just, it's, I've done a lot of videos for my friends that I've, I've no longer have because those videos, I, I took them all down. Let's see what happens. Now, see how it's just barely moving? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this one and then I'm going to put this one over here. You see how I clicked on it and brought it over and I'm letting it upload. You see this over here on the far left? Oh, there it goes. It uploaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this. I'm going to replace it with replace the background. So there it is. Now what we're going to do is put our cat, our little kitten right here. On that magic carpet. Now let's see what the movement looks like. I'm going to hit play and see what that movement looks like. Well, that's not bad. It's still not as good as movement, good as good a movement as I would like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and let's let's make um, this kitty cat here. We can go up here to animate. And it gives you a lot of a lot of tools to play with. You can go baseline where it pops up. But what I want to do is go to the succession is a new one. And also blur. But what I'm going to do is drift. I like the drift one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it drift. But I'm going to have it drift up the cat. Now doesn't that look good? It looks like the cat is floating. So I did that on, on that one. I'm going back to the sandbox one. Let's see what kind of um, animation we can do for the sandbox. So, what about chill? Chill looks like it's chill. Just chill, period. So, let's find some. What about party? What's party? None of these seem to be showing anything. So, let's keep on. What about that one? That one? No. Uh, re let's remove... There we go. See how it moves it over? Scrapbook. Neon. Uh, baseline. And to uh, drift drifts the picture over. So I, and I think to let's let's go with drift. And what I want to do is, is have that drift in that way. Now we'll go to the one with the umbrella. I'm going to make this one like pop out. So to make it breathe. So we're going to go to breathe. Where are you at? There it is. Breathe. And you can you can have it breathing out like really far. Or you can have it just barely coming out. But I want to have it coming out like, like that. See what I'm talking about? Got bigger? Now we got the little kid, little, little boy here. The little, the little 
cutie pie here and let's let's find something for his animation what is it going to be is it going to be a pop no let's fade no see it's it doesn't seem to want to usually it gives you the what it's going to do you know so what kind of let's let's see what succession does it's, oh stomp is a good one all right so let's see what stomp does and i don't know why it's not showing me so there it's get bigger stomp didn't work okay let's see let's remove all animations which just it would be just from that one so let's go to animate and scrapbook as scrapbook is supposed to roll it in so i don't know what's going on Okay, fun, fleek, simple. Pod, uh, corporate, or corporate. Uh, fade, pop. See, I, that's what I don't understand. It, usually it's the whole page. Okay, well, let's leave that one. And we already did that one, the drift. And then this one we got moving anyway with the magic carpet. But you can see that it doesn't seem to fit the, if we do it like that, it's a little bit more, um, the size seems to do a little bit better. So let's sort of peer to, and see how this goes, just to be, just, to, just what we have so far. So I can make this bigger, and this is how it does when it makes it bigger. And my voice will be behind it. And uh, once you see no music. So look at that little boy. Isn't he cute? And look. Here comes the little little kitten in the sandbox. And then we have we have that one rising up on its disc. I guess it's a flying saucer. And we see the carpet moving under the cat. Now those are the ones I've done so far. And I want to pay attention to when I do the... Um, the reason I'm going to pay attention to this is when I do the the timing, I have to only, there's only a certain amount that I can put in to add to my stream yard for my overlays. So I'm going over here to images and we're going to get some more images. So uploads. And let's see, there's some things I did for Scully. Uh, let's find some more pictures. I want to put another five up, another panel, so that we could do some more, some more things I did for Scully. And we have this cute little kitten right there. And we're going to set images background. Let's see if we can animate. And I don't think the animation is working on these pictures for some awful reason. There's, it's only working on drift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this one drifting that way. So it's a little different. It's not, it doesn't um, give it a whole lot of, you know, je ne sais quoi. It just, it just, um, it just makes it, it gives it a little bit oomph, you know. So we got that one. Let's find some more here. Um... And these are all the ones I've just made recently. And here, here we get to my son. Now, I've got these I made uh, of the cat on the bicycle, which was cool. And you want to look and make sure when you do this that, for you know, there's nothing like a second tail or a three ears. You want to really take a look at the picture. Now, I want to show you all something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the photo. This has drift, so I don't know why that one has, already has drift on there. I didn't. I just want to remove that one. So we go up here to none. There is none. Whoops. Uh, remove. Okay. So I did it remove all my animations. No. Okay. It's down here. Going back to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background 
on the kitty on the bicycle. So let's go to um, edit photo and then over here to background remover. They have a lot of little things you can do, but background remover I think is, is awesome. You see how that did that? It took the background out. So what I want to do, I know that I want this little kitten right here to move. I want him animated. So I'm going to de detach him. There is no background. So anything I put behind this kitten is going to um, it's going to cover the, the inside of this. So let me show you what I have. Let's see. Loads. Now I have like park scene. Um, there's just all kinds of little scenes I can put with it. But I want to try this one. Let's see which one was it I saw. Let's try this one. Now you see that I can put set images background. And if I make him a little bit smaller, it's a lot of green to that, isn't it? Or teal. But if I make make this cat just a wee bit smaller, I can put him on that bridge. Now I can't put him behind you know, because he's already, it's just too, um, I can put him like that. Okay. So he's on the bridge. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this photo. And I'm going to go over here to animate. And see what we could, that's the blur. That's the things I was telling you about. But we're going to have him going to the left. So we're going to have drift if we can find drift again where's drift drift uh photo eminent okay photo uh da -da. there it is drift so he, we don't want him going backwards so we're going to have him going this way see what i'm saying isn't that cool and he goes across the bridge so that's how that one's going to come up and i want to show you we're going to start here and we're See how that slides over? And then there goes the kitty kitty on the bridge. Isn't that cool? Now, I could have, I could turn this around, have him going the other way. But we're going to leave it like that. So, we're up to 34 seconds. Now, this is what is painstaking. Is trying to get enough motion, enough pictures, enough, enough to fill a, a, a video. Any kind of, any minutes you want if you have a constraint a time constraint on what you can do now because i've got got that i'm going to go to the next one next panel this may just be a little 30 second one or so all right so we got some more pictures here um we got the two cats booping each other's heads we'll put that one there and We'll see what animations we can with that one. I'm trying to do this quickly so there's not a whole lot of um, time spent on it. We'll just do the breathe ones where he's breathing out. There you go. Then we'll move down to another picture. Let's find another one. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. And the reason I'm doing this without a chat is because I don't want to be distracted when I'm trying to do this video. Now this one I made for Janica. And that looks like her tuxedo cat. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to do edit photo and I'm going to uh, I'm not going to take anything away. What I'm going to do, what, well, I'm sorry, flip. I want to flip it around the other way. You see how I did that? So that anything I do will have this picture going in another direction. So we're going to set it as background and then I'm going to go to animations. Which they already have breathe here, and I don't know why it's automatically putting um, something like that on there when I didn't have it. So breathe, and then what I want to do is do tap pan. No, we re, see remove all animations, and then what I want to do is go uh, drift is the still taking it across there and. It looks like it's flying. So we're going to go with that. How about that? 
Um, there's all kinds. Exaggerate, stomp, flicker, um, photo rise. That's a good one. Photo zoom. That's a good one. Photo flow. Now, if I was to do photo rise, see how it's going up? Now, if I click on that, I can have the photo coming in any direction I want. But what I want to do is I want to I want to go with photo zoom. See how it, I've got it going out? I mean, fading out. You can either have it coming in where it's coming at you or out. And I want to go, I want to, I want this one to go out, but I want it to go out further. So let's see how that worked. That's not bad. So we got that one. So let's go to another one and we'll do a few more, a few more. Then I will up, upload this a whole video and release it as a premiere so y'all can see what I do. Okay, so here we go to, uh, I've already did, let's go to some more pictures here. Now, like I said, these are ones I've already done. I wanted to, um, I wanted to, you know, put them out there for y'all to see. I wanted to display them, show you how I work. It's not just kitty cats. Of like I said, I've done some work for a few other people. Uh, depending on what your um, desire is, um, I usually try to do this with you in mind um i mirror you designs that mirror you that mirror your brand what you want to have done now i'm not a professional i'm working towards it i'm doing amazing more at learning and i just hope i can you know help you you guys someday with your channels I love dressing up uh, people's banners. You know, when you go to a YouTube channel and you see there's no banner at the top, you don't tend to stick around. Um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying that a good avatar and a good um, banner, whether or not you're planning on monetizing, it really pops. It really gives you that feeling that you are a YouTuber a creator or that you, it gives you pride is what it is. You don't even have to have any videos. It just looks awesome. All right. So now we got this with the ball of yarn, this kitty kitty. Now the only motion I'm going to be able to do with this is like I've been working on. So it, it says photo zoom is already in. So I want to take the photo zoom off and see how it's a photo rise, how it's coming up. Photo flow goes down there are some here that rolls it out but I don't have I don't know why they're not working that's breathing out uh, drifting over baseline was supposed to be going up or down so let's look at uh, let's look at photo zoom that's the one that went in and out we just did that one with the other one with the one before it. so we want to do photo maybe photo flow or photo rise. I think photo rise would be good. So we'll we'll leave it there on photo rise. And let's see, where are we at? 49 seconds. Let's go maybe one more, maybe two more. I don't want to go over a minute because it's what you upload in the stream yard. And I'll show you another little thing that happens once you do this. Let's go to uploads again. Like I said, these are the ones I've already done that I'm trying to um, excite y'all with. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Let's do the little one here with the with the uh, butterfly on its nose. I think it's a cutie, but today, but when I make it big, it's going to make it too big. So what we want to do is detach image, and what I can do is go over here and magic will resize it to a landscape. So that's would be thumbnail size. So let's go to 1280 by 720. Continue and resize this. Not that one. 
it's going to, I got to go all the way to the end here. Okay. Copy and resize. There you go. So, open YouTube thumbnail, put it, put it in a different place. Let me go back. Oh my God. Nope, there it is. All of it's together. So, let's, I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> oh my God. So, did that load it or not? I doubt it. I'm not even going to worry about that. That was just, I never had that happen to me. What you could do is you can pull the sides. Look at that. And what I'm going to do, since I did that, is I'm going to edit photo. And I'm going to remove the background. And by doing that, we have another kitty cat sitting on the stool. And what we're going to do is put some background to this kitty kitty. I could even make the kitty smaller. And just we can just have some woods around it. I could even go to well let's let's look at it. There's already woods here. This one right here would be a cool one. So I'm gonna set images background and look at that. I can put this kitty kitty anywhere I want. I can put it over here underneath the trees between the two hummingbirds. Wouldn't that be spiffy? So I can do it like that. I've got other I could put um let's see all kinds of butterflies around it. I've got so many butterflies here. So what about replace background with that? Make this this kitty kitty larger. I can then go and make the kitty kitty move. That makes the whole okay, photo animations to page animations. I want to go to photo anim animations. But I only want to go to this one. So baseline, no nope. breeze. That makes the whole thing breeze. So I don't know if I want that one or not. This makes that one slide over to the butterflies. But I didn't want this one to move. So um yeah. So take that one off. I I don't know why it's staying on that let me see if i can it says remove okay so let's see if it left that one all right nope it didn't so we have to do something with the kitty kitty animate the just the kitty and let's see what the succession does that's very quick tonic there you go that's a good one so we'll use the tonic so that the so it slides. Now, so the kitty cat slides across there. I know it's juvenile looking, but still, it's fun. Now I'm going to do one more, and the reason I say one more is I'm at 59 seconds. So on the um, uploads, I'm going to go to uploads, and what I'm going to do is fully made for me the um these my my backgrounds so um what I'm gonna do is go to which was it I guess it is uploads hold on nope I'm losing my religion would it be projects let me look at projects do, 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 do. Projects. Projects. I might have put it in a folder. Let me look in my folder here. Because some of these things I'll put in the folder. Um, so I could have it for later. There it is. Okay. I have one of them in there. Which is fine. Images. Let's see. Images. Oh, there you go. So, this is what Scully made. I'm going to have this as my end screen for this one. And once I put the transitions in for each picture, then I can better know how much, if I've got room for anything else. But I want to leave it at this. Now, Izzy Sky is my new name. 
Iziska Designs. And that's what I'm doing, is I'm making designs. I'm going to put, leave that here, go to um, animate, and let's find a good animation for it. What about that? No, nope, I got a lot of those. Breeze, I got a lot of breeze, but that's good. Pop, and there's stomp and tumble, but they don't seem to be working. I don't know why. Um, photo rise, and that just brings it up. P photo flow. Oh, is the skull right there? Um, Scully made that. That's not one of my designs. Um, but I don't want to put it on here because it represents my new, my newness. <laughs> and this will be part of my, one of my, um, movable or motions in my stream yard. So I've got this one and what we did is photo zoom on it. So what I want to do is I want to go back and I want to put transitions between each picture so it's, it flows smoothly. Now if I put match and move is what I normally do. I could do that or I could do flow oh, wait a minute, or I can do stack where it stacks the next picture on top of it. I could chop it down. But the first one I'm going to do is that one. The next one I'm going to do is, and you'll see when I do it. Now, whoop, the next one is going to be, I think I'll do the stack one on that. Because we had our, am I going to do that? Uh, uh, let's do... Let's do slide. Like that. We're going to do slide. And then we're going to do the next one. We'll do another match and move. All kinds of transitions here. And you'll see how it how it does when I'm done. Uh, stack. Let's stack another one on top. Now you can do a stack either that way or you can bring it up. Or you can bring it to the side or to the other side. But I'm going to bring it up. And then the next transition, I think, will be another match and move. Because I really don't want a whole lot of movement that's not... Hey, let's do color. No, circle wipe. That one. Like I said, I don't want a whole lot of movement that's going to take away from what I've already put as animation in the pictures. Now, this, I'm going to do that one as a stack. And I'm going to have it come down. For the other cats. And they're going to move down here. The next one. Which I think I'll have that one as a circle wipe. Where it comes into a circle in the morning. In the middle. In the morning. In the middle. Line wipe. Well we got line wipe. And we got side. And we're just like a slideshow. I think I'll do that one. And then we got. The one with the butterflies the butterflies um let's do the match and move with the butterflies also and then we've got the very last one which is the final panel which comes out to be let's do slideshow again and let me show you something so when i hit to play this you'll watch it go into suc succession and what you'll have at the end is um, movement. So watch this. You see how the um, cat comes towards you? This one had no, it just faded into that one. Sandbox slide. And then we have our little, little boy raising up here to the sky. We have this one on the magic carpet just sitting there. And we have this one sliding on in. Pretty. Oh, there goes our bicyclist. Look at that. Pretty cool. And then we have our two nuzzles here. The, the, the boops. And we circle into our tuxedo cat in the spaceship. And we have our little buddy here playing with the um, yarn. And we have our butterfly catcher here. Which, that was just a slide. And then we have Izzy Scuff. 
and that's the end of the video now what happened is when I did this and put in transitions and we go back to little little <laughs> I minimize and when I put the transitions in it went from 59 seconds down to 53.5 now usually the videos that you can bring up in StreamYard are a minute long um, I'm not going to mess with this right now I've got it the way I want it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to share and then I'm going to download down here it says download download and then I've got it in 1080 HD or you can bring it back to 720 for social media you can also take it down to 480 for drafts now I'm going to take it back up here where it was to 1080 for because it's better quality and a lot of people that have their work they the, the laptops or phones they do have the quality the HD quality high definition and I, I don't want my videos to look like you know 1920s <laughs> you know the snow all in it so I'm gonna hit download so it's downloading mp4 video while I'm here and while this is downloading I'm going back over here and to templates and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a thumbnail for this video that I'm doing now so I, I'll get to that point I'll switch that over when I get there so I go to YouTube thumbnail and I'll click on that instead of video now the video is already uploaded so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that screen out up here so that I can switch share this tab instead so now we're at we're going to make the video for I mean the thumbnail for that same video that I just did well no I'm sorry a thumbnail for the video I'm doing right now um so is it is this good designs I'm going to title I'm going to put Izzy Ska oh, Izzy Ska oh, got a stone house bill it's a must and it's two names it's one name so let's get that right Izzy Ska designs and I'm going to name it at work so by putting this up here it gives me the title so that when I go to go back and reference this I know it was a design and it was a thumbnail and I could just type it in and search and find it if I need to work with it so I want to go back to elements over here we already saw all this and y'all seeing this yeah okay going back to elements and I've got to think of something it's got to be no motion because it's going to be a thumbnail so what I'm going to do is go over here to my uploads of the things I've already used and what it's going to say is uh, where is it at Oop, elements sorry no still not looking in the right place I'm dumbfounded projects is it projects I want and see these are the things I've, ar I've already been working on so images are these the images I'm looking for no here is the image here is the image here's one too so we got the beautiful background images that um, Scully made for this channel and so we got Izzy Ska and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add to the title so I'm gonna put add a heading and I'm gonna put Izzy Ska is up there and then I'm gonna put designs uh, that mirror you and that's the thing that I'm trying to cater to is stuff that that for your channel that mirror you a reflection of you that's the whole concept designs that mirror you and what I'll do is I'll, I'll place it right here and it has this 
you'll notice it has this bar in them. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it gives you the option that you can move it anywhere you want to. I mean, it's to line it up. So that looks pretty cool. Designs that mirror you, or I could bring it down a little further, but it puts it in, in the middle of the hearts. Now, what I want to do is go find, uh, lately I've been using the font, um, you got to click on the words and then you go to the font. I've been using Rush A. That's the font I've been using. So what I did or what I'll do is what I do is with this also is I go to effects. And behind effects, I put the color that I use. The color I use is that light blue. So that looks pretty spiffy, I might, I must say. Izzy Ska, designs that mirror you. So this is going to be my thumbnail for this video that I'm doing, which will be, y'all will be able to see it if you'd like. Um, I'm going to share this to my folder, download. And when I premiere this video, which will be labeled Izzy Ska Designs That Mirror You, when I go to upload this into YouTube, I will premiere in it, be premiere in it. And there's not a whole lot of questions that I can answer without going into detail in the chat. I just wanted to give y'all a rough, did I even show, yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a rough idea uh, of what I do, how long it takes me to do it. If I already have things I already made, then I don't have as much of a, of diff, of a difficulty getting it done quickly. But if I have to create these things on my own, then, I mean, from scratch, then it does take a while. If it's a video, it takes a while because you have to get the beat to match the pictures, depending on the music. Um, I don't know what my, my package prices or my bundles are going to be. Um, we I will discuss that with each individual person as they want something, if they want something. I'm not even saying this is going to take off. This is, I'm doing this video because YouTube thinks that I don't do my own creations. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. I do. I use Canva. I use Netflix Music. I use Audio Library, which has Netflix Music. I also use um, Magic Media. And I use Runway. So these are the, these are the, programs that I use and I, that I pay for. Um, I don't use the basic plan, which limits and puts a big old watermark with a big Canva wa watermark mark on everything, which is understandable. If you don't pay for it, then you shouldn't be allowed to put your own mark on it. So this is what I did for you guys. I know this went into, it's been an hour. Oh my God. But this is how long it, it took me, it probably, it takes longer to tell you how to do it or show you how to do it, which you, I got, I know you guys know that, but it takes longer because I'm, I know I'm used to doing it now quickly. I don't think about that step, this step, and y'all will say, well, how do you do this? How do you do that? Um, one of the things I'll be offering is tutorials. If you want to learn it on your own, I'm not saying that I'm going to charge a set price. If you want to learn it on your own, go to Canva, learn it on your own. If you want me to help you to, to walk you through some things and you feel like you deserve or that you have gotten your money's worth, then make sure you compensate for it. Um, that's with anybody, not just with me. Um, a lot of people have given me shout outs for the work I've done. I appreciate that so much. Um, like I said, I, I just enjoy doing it. And I, I did it for a lot of people before I lost monetization. And 
now I'm doing it for people and I don't even like the fact that I have to charge but if I can't charge for it then I can't keep going I can't keep making these for y'all I'm not begging I'm not doing any of that this is this is my new channel new design new attitude new way to go and I'd love for y'all to come along for the ride um, my chats will be the same as they always have been when when I show my my wares what I do in the background then that's that right there to me is my advertising and I want to be able to advertise the things that I do and if let me see if I went up oh, yep okay um I want to be able to advertise what I do so that you know what you're getting once again thank you Scully for everything thank you for this wonderful avatar and background even though it's not my design it's designed for me and I do appreciate it I appreciate every one of y'all and like I said hit me up if you want to beautify if you want to make YouTube look better every day let me know and I'll do what I can I'll see what I can do um, hopefully it will be something that you guys will definitely enjoy I mean I do it for fun but yet I do I am serious a lot of times about what I do um, I never thought that I was that good I never thought I I don't think I'm a professional I do know that I have an eye for it so I have an ear for it and an eye for it so if you would like to have a banner an avatar or a bundle you know thumbnails for your channel a video made for you hit me up my email is izzy underscore pop at aol.com it's also on my about page we'll talk we'll see what we can do and and see what what i can do for you know what what's right for you because i'm gonna a mirror is a reflection of you and i want my designs to be the mirror of reflections for you i want you to see your face in anything i do without it being your face i still have a lot to learn and I'm still trying to do the best I can do with what I'm <laughs> with the tools I've got and with the knowledge I have. You guys, I want you to have a great day. Enjoy the weekend. Mother's Day is coming up. Happy Mother's Day to everyone out there that is a mother who has a mother they love. I mean, everybody has a mother. My come on. You had one to be born. Unless you're an alien. And then we don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to end this before I get too crazy. But anyway, have a great day, y'all.